Hey everybody, this is David B69, and welcome to Philadelphia Phillies franchise. We're playing the Phillies against the Cubs in the National League Championship Series. I never would have thought that of all teams we'd be facing, we'd be facing the Chicago Cubs. But yet, here we are. Um, we're going to use uh, Wheeler, of course. We're not using Abel. We're going to skip his turn in rotation because we can. Um, everybody else is rested and ready to go. So let's get to it. Um, this was the latest uh, patch update was updated. Up uh, patch 20. So they're going to have the stickers on the helmets now. NLCS Game 1 is coming your way next. Hello and welcome. Thanks for joining us. MLB The Show brings you the National League Championship Series. It's the Chicago Cubs taking on the Philadelphia Phillies. John Chambi alongside Chris Singleton. Game one is always critical in a postseason series, Singy. Yeah, and this is when you love having home field advantage, Boog. If you capture game one, you're full of confidence that you've got a chance to ride that momentum for the rest of the series. And on the visiting side, starting pitching is always the big key in a game like this to kick off a series. Yeah, you need a strong performance on the mound. That's the number one way to cancel out the home field edge we just mentioned. And we'll be back with the first pitch right after this. Just about set to go now. Now the starting pitcher in this one, Zach Wheeler. Well, the hammer is in effect, and he sets it up so nicely because of the velocity on the fastball. We'll elevate that and then break you off when he's ahead in the count. What I love about him, you get into the later innings of the ball game, and the velocity seems to go up. All right, ready to go here. So up now for Chicago, Nico Horner. That one finds the zone. So we're off and running in game one. to the play oh. that misses the zone and yeah, the count one and two well that's kind of what you expect in an 0-2 count excellent job of the hitter to have the play discipline to lay off of that pitch now one out to right puts it away for the out the left time now for the Chicago Cubs lineup they're dealing with a top-level arm on the mound, so this figures to be a tough matchup for them. What's the key to the offense today, Singy? Well, Boog, I think when you got a guy that's this talented on the mound, you've got to find ways to disrupt his rhythm, make him uncomfortable a little bit. The guys that can handle the bat and perhaps, you know, bunt, bunt for a base hit, get him moving off the mound. If you're in the box and he seems to be just in a flow, step out, mess up his timing, and somehow try to get in his head a little bit. And then when he does come in the zone, you may only get one pitch. You better not miss it. And a foul ball. The pitch. And that clips the inside corner. And Singy, as a team, you need to make the most of the very few opportunities he's going to give you, right? Absolutely. And, and you know, if you don't get to guys like this a lot of times early, once they really settle in, it's going to be the later innings that they hand that ball over to a reliever if they do at all. Two down, nobody on. On the ground, right side. He takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. And the Cubs are down in order. Phillies coming up to hit, no score. You're watching the National League Championship Series on the show. Back here in Philadelphia, and today's starter, Justin Steele. 
Power pitcher. He's going to speed you up with the fastball velocity. And out of his hand will explode the breaking ball. Very difficult for hitters to keep that front side closed and hit the ball the other way because they know if they're not ready to pull the trigger, the fastball will beat them. A wide to kick the pitch. Sharp grounder. That's through for base hit. Man aboard on the leadoff single. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. We've all seen the defensive shift make a big difference in defending against pull hitters, but it's not foolproof. He pulled it as expected, but he found a hole that time. Here's Turner now. Swing and a miss. Strike one. Steal. An all-star a season ago. He features a four-seam fastball, a slider, a sinker, a curve, and he works in a changeup. All one there. Hit hard. That gets through. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. Back to back base hits. Just a simple ground ball the other way. They had eyes on it, man. Sometimes that's all you need to do. Just let the ball travel, put the ball in play, and just hope it finds a hole. Bryce Harper to the plate. And that one fouled off. This would be huge right here if they could get on the board and be the first ones to score in this one with the home field advantage. Get that crowd behind you and just intimidate the opposition a little bit more. swing now would appeal to third yes he did down he goes on strikes and now it's Alec Bohm that one missed the crowd here's been fired up even before the first pitch for this series and they'll go crazy right here if they can take an early first inning lead and that one is lifted in the air Suzuki on the move Makes the grab. And there are two down. Relay throw. And he's out. Up down, and that ends the inning. Really exciting when a couple of guys get their hands on the ball and execute the relay perfectly. Nice throw to third. Awesome. Top of the second. Now the Cubs four-hole hitter, Christopher Morell. In the air, right side. Castellanos gets under it. Brings it in. And there's one away. Legends really are cemented in the postseason. You think of David Ortiz heroics for the Red Sox, Derek Jeter as Mr. November, or Randy Johnson in the 2001 World Series, just to name a few. Seiya Suzuki stands in now and watches strike one. Well, on that oh. idea of postseason reputations, Boog, got to mention players like Carlton Fisk, Reggie Jackson, and Madison Bumgarner. We were doing that game. Those guys really shined in the toughest moments. And a pop up right side, foul territory. Calls it in for the out. Good hard fastball up in the zone right there. They look really good coming in, but so hard to get on top of as a hitter. Two outs, base is empty. Dansby Swanson stands in. Late on that fastball. This one in the air. Boom. Squeezes it. And that is that. Cubs are down quietly. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. And we're back. Here's the veteran outfielder, Nick Castellanos. Nick Castellanos. As the lefty gets to work. Ball one, no strikes. Oh. 
fastball for a strike. Well, it looks like he's wanting to work the upper part of the strike zone. What does that mean? Top hand better be working for the hitters. Adjust that side a little bit. Give yourself a chance to hit. That one fouled off. And another ball. And now it's filled up. A really good take, especially with two strikes. The wind and the pitch. This one popped up. Foul ground, first base side. Crone hauls it in, and there's one away. Batting six. The catcher. JT. JT Real Muto Real steps Muto. in. First pitch doesn't out. find the zone. One out, base is empty. Swing and a foul over the screen and back out of play. The 1 1. And there's a rocket into the outfield. Makes the turn and heads for second. And he's in with a stand-up double. He was all over that one. Pitch was away, and he did exactly what you're supposed to do with it. Drive it the other way. Just go with the pitch. Runner in scoring position now, and a good opportunity to push across the first run of the ball game. Sosa to the plate. Smoke to the left. This looks like extra bases. Here comes Real Muto around third. Run scores easily. And the Phillies strike first. It's 1 0. Throw to second. Not in time. He's there easily. down. Here's the center fielder, Johan Rojas. Next offering, pop foul off to the right out of play. Now fly ball to right center. Suzuki has a beat on it. He's there. He's got it. Runner tags at second. And now a wide throw to third. And now it's Austin that Hayes. Nice. No left field. Here. Austin Hayes. And a strike. Pitch no. misses there. And that one is ball one. Strike. Two outs and a runner at third. Here in game one of the NLCS. Swings through the fastball up in the zone. So far all we've seen in this at bat are fastballs. Look for him to slow it down right here ahead in the count. And he deals. Bows it off. Still one and two. Two outs. This one popped up corner under it and that is that <laughs> Phillies with the run scoring double it's an early one nothing lead this is the National League Championship Series on the show back here in Philadelphia top half of the third inning and here is CJ Crone and that's off the inside edge one and oh And there's a foul ball. Righty delivers. That Ooh, one misses. One Two and one. Swing and a miss. 
Nelson. That's strike two. That one ripped. That ball's carrying. Pulls it in on the warning track. And here's the DH for the Cubs, Cedric Mullins. That clips the corner. I mean, that's perfect location right on the black. I mean, over and over again, this guy demonstrates the ability to hit those spots. They're so tough to do anything with as a hitter. Swing and he breaks his back. And they get yep, Mullins for the out. Tyler Stevenson, the next Tyler cup to hit. Stevenson. First pitch misses. Oh. Fastball for a strike. Goodness, I think he just took the best pitch he's going to see in this at bat. You don't get many like that in that location. I don't know if you take that pitch Ooh. against any pitcher out there now. The Phillies up by a run here in game one. Headed down the line. Castellanos on his horse. Couldn't get to it before it dropped foul. Here comes a pitch. Ground ball to the right side. And it stays fair. Now he'll turn for second. The throw in. And that's a double. Everything came together for him. He was definitely late on that pitch, but he didn't get beat. He got the bat on plane and just kept his hands tight to shoot it down the first baseline for the knock. So the batting order turns over. Nico Horner, the next Cub to hit. That one the other way. That's a hit. Headed for the plate. The throw in, but it's offline. Well done. Drives in the run. Really good swing right there. He got a pitch that he knew he could handle. Allowed himself to stay back just a tad bit longer, and he hit the ball on the screws. And now a chance to maybe get creative on offense with good speed on first. So two down, corner on the go. Pitch in for a strike. For the yeah, second, a and, out. and that'll end it. But the RBI single pushes across a run. All even now at 1 1. And welcome back to the ballpark. The now it's the DH, the Kyle Schwarber. Kyle. Steal back to work. Schwarber. Swing and a miss. 1-1. One, one. One a little out front there as he swings through it. Well, no fair right there. I mean, that slider didn't move to the very last moment. Incredibly difficult to pick that up. Just kind of have to tip your cap on that pit. Hinder, two and two. And yeah, that's outside. Swings and misses. Couldn't catch up to the heater. The batter number seven. Here's Trey Turner. And he's already singled in this game. Turner. And a foul ball. Tied up here in the early going. Foul ball there. One down, base is empty. Pitch one in ball. the dirt, He's and the count one and two. A base hit. So they get a man aboard with a one out single. A couple of hits in a row for him here. The really nice job staying up three. the middle with his approach. Right. He didn't try to do too much with the pitch, Harper. just shot it through the infield. And now let's see if they force some action with good wheels on the bases. Here's Harper now. His first at bat was a strikeout. 
swing and a miss as he was late. Now snap throw to first. Turner back in standing. Base runner with a one-way lead right there. All he's trying to do is get a look at the pitcher's move. Had no intent of stealing on that pitch. Swing and a miss as he was out front that time. Popped up. Swanson under it. Makes the grab and there's two gone. Here's the third baseman, now, Alec Bowles. The third baseman, Alec Bowles. First pitch, oh, and he just misses. Well, if he's going to steal second, you want him to go early in the count. That way he's not a distraction to the hitter at the plate. Go ahead and get it out of the way so the hitter can focus on the pitch. A bit behind with that swing. It's strike one. And another ball. Two and one the count now. He hasn't seen a fastball yet, but you've got to be ready to hit one because you doubt the pitcher wants this to go to a 3-1 count. Next offering is in for a strike. Turner leads off first with two down to the inning. And a pop-up right side, foul territory. Crone makes the play, and that's the third out. Philly strand one, still tied. 1-1. One, one. Game one Let of the National the League Championship Series. In half up to hit. The pitch. That's in for a strike at 95. It's 0-1. And that one fouled off. Right-hander kicks, deals. Ground ball up the middle. Oh, what a stop. On the run, sent it over to first, but he beats it out. And the leadoff man is on with an infield single. And up to the plate comes Cody Bellinger. This is great work by the shortstop. He makes the throw across the diamond after the dive and just wasn't able to get it there in time. But I love how much he put into that play. And on the other side, he was really giving it his all down the line as well. Nice play on both ends. Next offering is down low. Way to lay off that pitch down. Just missed. Man, oh man, I don't know how you take that pitch. That's as close as it gets. The 2 2. Got it. And now one away. Well, he throws him with a great fastball right on the corner. It's kind of like pulling when you think the ball's going to get into the gutter and somehow just hangs onto that edge and knocks down a pin. Well, he got the outside corner of the plate and got that called third strike. Digging in, Christopher Morell. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Morell, in his third season, 24 years old. This one swung on and hit well. Way back there. And caught on the warning track. Every day during batting practice, these outfielders get about 10 minutes of balls in the gaps. They practice this, and when the game comes, they make the play perfectly. Runner on the go. Pitch in for a strike. Safe at second, and that was not close. Well, that steal right there is wanting to take advantage of having a really good hitter at the plate. Now they've got a much better shot at bringing home a two-out RBI. And ball one. Runner at second, two down. Top half of inning number four. Next pitch, not close, up high. That one almost got him. Straighten him up a little bit. Third out, that ends the frame. They get a leadoff single, but leave him stranded. For midway in the fourth, all tied 1-1. Back at Citizens Bank Park, John Chami and Chris Singleton with you. And leading off the bottom of the fourth, Nick Castellanos. Oh, 
And here it comes. Hard ground ball base now. So a runner aboard to start the inning. Man, those are the types of hits where you don't feel any vibration in your hands whatsoever. Such a good feeling. Everyone's trying to elevate the ball in today's game, but if you can hit a ball that hard on the ground, it's going to find some holes. And now it is JT Real Muto. Swings through that one for strike one. No ball. One strike. Swing, and that ball smashed on the line. And Real Muto is out. And there's one down. Man, that's one of those at-bats where you have to remind yourself oh, it's about out. the process. He the did everything base, right, right there. Hey, Nothing to show go. for it. But in your mind, you have to convince yourself that it was a very good at-bat. Edmundo Sosa now at the plate. He doubled home a run at his first A.B. Swing and a pop-up. Foul territory for the catcher. Stevenson makes the catch. Two down. That was a good pitch to hit right down the heart now of the plate. Had pretty good timing on it. Just got Rojas. underneath it a little bit and popped it up. Rojas. Rojas in the box now. No balls and a strike. Castellanos off of first with two away. This to center field. Bellinger snags it on the run. One left for Philadelphia. Score remains deadlocked at one. Back here in Philadelphia. Ready now for the fifth inning. And now Dansby Swanson. And that's, that's outside. Ball one. You know, okay. these Cubs, as this game goes on, have to be more disciplined at the plate. They've been chasing pitches outside the zone all game, and it's led to some frustrating moments. They've been fooled quite a bit today. And it is two and one. Two and one. Good eye in that spot. He hasn't fallen behind in the count like this all day. He's in danger of walking his first batter right here. Late on that fastball. This game has been so tight. Feels like the next team to score will win it. He goes down looking. Man, he had a stanky leg on that one right there. That third ball just locked him up. C.J. Crone, the next cup to hit. Flares it into the outfield. And that'll fall for a base hit. So a man aboard now with one away. Well, that started and ended pretty quickly. No messing around right there. There are a lot of nicknames people have attached to hits like that. Blooper, Flair, Duck Snort, Lawn Dart, etc. But whatever you want to call it, it's a knock. And those are the ones that will make you smile as a hitter just about every time. Tyler Stevenson, the next Cub to hit. And there's the strike. Two gone, but the go-ahead run is at first. And we're at the top of the fifth. Ooh, big swing and a miss. A lot of times you'll see a pitcher maybe double up on a pitch. This guy will throw it three times, four times in a row because hitters just can't lay off of it. Swing and a pop-up. Turner should have it. Brings it in for the third out. Cubs leave one. Score remains tied 1-1. Bottom of the inning. Leading and now for the Phillies, Philly. Austin Hayes. No left fielder. Austin. Hayes. And a pitch. Up the middle. Now the throw to first on the run. There in there goes. safely. It's a nice job getting there. Good throw, but... Very difficult to get anybody on that one as far as you had to go and throw. You know? Yeah, no question. So the lineup flips over. Kyle Schwarber stands in for the Phillies. Breaking ball inside. And that's ball one. 
All tied up. Last half of inning number five. Yeah, there's a ball. Pretty easy to get up on that pitch right there. Started on the edge of the plate with the spin. You know it's going to finish well off the plate. That one misses. And now 3 0. Trey Turner next to bat for Philadelphia. And there's the automatic. Calling this count runner, not known for his speed, but I think you got to put him in motion. Try to avoid a double play here, Boo. Now what is inside ball four? And I mean, oh, so close. Well, we've seen this recipe cook up a big inning plenty of times. Two runners on, nobody out, and they're the heart of their order. It's just a great opportunity to put up a crooked number. Turner in the box now. Take strike one. Big at bat right here with an opportunity to do damage. But on the flip side, ground ball, double play, strikeout. That could get the inning back under control on the mound. First and second here, no outs. That one close, rule the ball. One and two to count. Well, clearly not too happy with the call there. Thought he caught the top of the zone, and you could pretty much read his lips saying, that's not up. Kicks and deals. Fights that one away, still one and two. At the belt and fires. That's hard hit in the line. Base hit into the outfield. Run comes in from second. It's 2-1. First and second. No outs. Bryce Harper stands in for the Phillies. In for a strike, and it's 0-1. You know, these fills, simply put, are producing a lot of quality swings. We've heard lots of loud noise coming from their bats in this one, haven't we? I mean, they've lost six hits at 90-plus exit velocity, and that doesn't happen by accident. Late that time, and it's strike two. One ball, two strikes. Outside low, two Go and team. two. And now the lefty, got him. Now one away. Frustrating end to the at bat for the hitter, and I'm sure that's going to sit on him for a little while. You want to be ready to hit the fastball. Sometimes you can overthink things, and I think that was the case right there. And digging in for Philadelphia, Alec Bohm. He swings and misses at the Go first ball. pitch. 0 and 1. At the dish, looking to lift the ball in the air in this spot. Anything but the inning, inning double play, Boog. Next Wait, offering what? away upstairs. Schwarber, the lead runner at second. Turner over at first with one away. Check swing went around, and it's 1 and 2. Just missed. It's a good take. Two on, one out. That misses. And now it's three and two. Nick Castellanos hitting on deck circle. Outside, and that is ball four. Well, that sets up a really big at bat in this game. These are the moments where everyone in the stadium gets really locked in. Here comes Craig Council, and we're going to see a pitching change. Justin Steele will depart. We'll be back in a minute with a new arm on the mound. Here comes a new arm for the Cubs, Jordan Wicks. Well, no margin for error in terms of throwing strikes with the bases loaded. Just has to execute one pitch at a time to try to get out of this. Nick Castellanos at the plate now. Golden opportunity right here. Oh. That one misses. And it's 1 0. Base is loaded. One away. 
Swing and a miss. And it's a ball and a strike. Knowing that the pitcher wants a ground ball double play opportunity here, you've got to lay off pitches down in the zone. Right there, swinging at that pitch, that's a no-no. And a count one and two. And the pitch. Two and two. Spoils that one and it remains two and two. Just missed. If he's able to connect on that, look out. Two two on the way. Oh. That one missed. Hey, So bases loaded with one away. And now JT Real Muto. One for two. That's a strike. Tough situation right here. It's so important as a pitcher to get ahead in the count as he did right there. Next offering in there for a strike. And it's 0-2. Still only one out here in the inning. Stays alive. Swung on, Bellinger. Bellinger going back. Pulls it in on the warning track. Runners tag up from second and third. There you go. Nice little RBI there. It's a great at bat. Got the job done. So digging in now for Philadelphia, Edmundo Sosa. Way outside, and that is ball one. Clearly didn't come out of his hand the right way. Left that curveball way up. That one fouled off. Lefty out of the stretch, runners at first and third. Lifted in the air right center field. Suzuki has a beat on it. Makes the catch. And that is the third out of the inning. Three runs for him here, and they move ahead. Five innings complete. It's the Phillies four. And the Back here, Citizens Bank Park. Here's Nico Horner. The right-hander back to work. And a foul ball, third base side. Well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. That's back-to-back -back singles for him. Nice line drive to the pole side right there, but he didn't spin off of it. That's the key. You still have to extend through the baseball in order to hit a line drive like that. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. No, he's really working him away this at bat. Sometimes take a little bit off velocity. Try to get a rollover, something on the ground. Stay away from that big hole on the right side of the infield. Just missed. No, he's not afraid to fall into a two-strike count. Knows the strike zone very well. So much so that I think umpires will look at him and it boom. There's one. And that's two. I think there's always something pretty about watching a 5-4-3 double play get turned. I mean, just seeing the ball whipped around the diamond with quickness and accuracy, that was nice. Bellinger up to hit. Right through there for a strike. Two out spaces empty. Next offering is in for a strike. Oh, this guy's so comfortable hitting with two strikes. Even a good pitch early in the at-bat. If he's not ready to pull the trigger, he's not worried if he gets to an 0-2 count. Two down, nobody on. Battling here as he fouls it away. The wind of the pitch. Liner, base hit. So he gets on base and keeps it going. 
With that fastball, even though it's high velocity, you've got to live on the outer edges. When it's right on the tee, right down the middle, professional hitters are not going to have a problem turning it around. Swings through that one for strike two. Bellinger, the runner at first with two gone. Swings and misses on the fastball up in the zone for the strikeout. So no runs, two hits, no errors, and one man left. 8-9-1 scheduled in the bottom of the sixth. Back here in Philadelphia, leading off, leading off Johan Rojas. The, center fielder. Johan. the pitch. Rojas. Slider misses okay. outside. Next offering upstairs. Two balls, no strike. And that'll fall for a base hit. So, man aboard. Here's the left fielder, Austin Hayes. Fouled off. He was late. Nobody out. Runner at first. Gentleman in. Moved his feet. And a foul ball. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. And that's the first out. A pretty good break now on the curveball right there. Well, Maybe not as down deal. in the zone as he would have liked, but deceptive enough to get that swing and miss. And if you don't catch that pitch out front on the barrel, it bears in on you pretty hard. Schwarber at the plate now as he chases after that one. He delivers outside. One one. Here goes the runner. That's the pitch is low. Oh, save. That was close, but Statcast shows us why he so often seems to be on the safe side of these steal attempts, Chris. Yeah, you see that plus speed, and he needed every last bit of it to swipe that bag. Such a threat on the bases. Not close with that one. Three and one. First pitch strike from the pitcher, but then no panic at all by the hitter. Very patient, showing good discipline. Now he's in the driver's seat with the three one count. And that's ball four. Pretty easy walk right there. Last pitch wasn't even much to think about. No matter number seven. First and second one out. Stop. Trey Turner digs in now. Three for three with three singles. Oh. And that's off the inside edge. Ball one. That clips a corner. One ball, one strike. Two on, one out. Not one even close one there. Two and one. Tough spot right here. A couple runners on. Two ball count. You can't nibble, but you have to execute and finish your pitch. If you leave Outside. something out over the plate, it's going to bring in some runs. The Phils trying to break this one open here in the bottom of the sixth. And they're Thank all you, loaded up. You get a walk, and you get a walk. The first Everyone the gets three. a walk, Good. And now here is Harper. Harper. Swing and a foul straight back. One out, base is full. And strike two. Oh, I think he was sitting off speed there. One and that's two. downstairs and outside. up dangerous hitter at the plate foul ball still one and two count oh. 
Slider misses outside. Two walks in the inning already, and he just doesn't seem comfortable out there. Like he can find the right mechanics and then repeat them. That missed by a lot. Full count, three and two. And that one lifted in the air, center field. Bellinger drifts towards it. And he makes the catch. Runners tagging from second and third. To third, he's not in time to get him. He's safe as the run scores on the sack fly. Well, he'll take the sack fly on the mound right there. Base is loaded. I mean, this is a high leverage situation. And if you can limit the other team, okay. you're doing pretty good work. That's See if you can get this next out. Right. Now it's the cleanup hitter for the oh. Phillies. Alec Bohm. And there's a foul ball. Well, he missed a hittable off-speed pitch right there. Not sure exactly what the timing. Sometimes you get a backup breaking ball. You're expecting it to make its move at the end. It never does. And you're tied up. Runners on first and third. Two away. Two really good back-to-back -back sliders. Now in an 0-2 count. He's feeling real confident about finishing. Now a blast to left center. Way back there. On its way. Out of here. Blast. And they tack on three. It's 8 1. That one just sounded different. And might have been the loudest moment yet. Man, my ears are ringing. I can feel that swing from the booth. A good hitter gets pitch recognition early. He saw exactly where that was going to be. The challenge, not get over anxious and come out of your swing. He stayed on it and got all of it. Okay, now you're going to ask the question. You pitcher in the game for the Cubs. Now, Mark why am I winning so badly and stuff? It's supposed to be the playoffs. It's like you must be cheating or you have something on it. Okay, sliders are all the same as they originally were. Never changed them at all. Okay. Um, gameplay difficulty, Hall of Fame difficulty. Um, there's nothing I can do about it. I can't make it. I could make it legend, I guess. But, yeah, it's, it's always been Hall of Fame. So, I mean, I guess I can go to legendary difficulty. Right, just don't want to punish myself like that much. So. All the pain does is what it is. So. As he leaves that one up high. Two outs. Way out front for strike two. One ball. Two strikes. Left field. Hap heads towards it. And that'll do it. But four runs score in the inning. Three coming right here on the three-run homer. It's now eight to one. And we're back. And now the right fielder, Seiya Suzuki. And that's in for a strike. No ball. It's no one secret. Strike. Teams need strong starting pitching to win in the postseason. Your game one starter can set the tone for the series, and it feels like that's what's happening tonight. He really delivered for his team by going deep into this game. It's never fun going back to the dugout after hitting the line drive that finds a glove, but you will get some high one fives. Strike. You know, when you make great contact, you feel like you've done everything right. But in this game of baseball, no, no. not everything is in your control. One down, base is empty. And now two and one. They say it went. Two and two. Base is empty, one away. Here are the late stages of game one. Just misses. And it's three and two. Side and that is ball four. Well, he's starting to look a little gas to me, and we'll see if they go to the bullpen in this spot or not. CJ Crone, the next Cub to hit. 
right through there for his strike. That curveball has been a big pitch for him today. He's been able to get ahead in the count with it. He's also been able to use it to put guys away. Harper makes the catch for the out. Two down. And at first, next is the designated hitter, Cedric Mullins. Check swing, and that's a ball. What a note. Ground ball right side, oh. and he grabs it in foul ground. That's in there. And the count, one and two. And another ball. The Cubbies with a lot of ground to make up here in the top half of inning number seven. Couldn't hit the fastball at the knees. One left for the Cubs. It's still an eight. And welcome back to the ballpark. Set for the last half of the seventh. Here's the Phillies catcher, JT Real Muto. The pitch. Just missed. Movement in the Cubs bullpen. Yancy Almonte getting ready to go. Edwards getting cranked up as well. And a pitch. And that one fouled off. Ball to strike. The pitch. Check swing. He went too far, and it's a strike. miss struck him out one away and now for the Phillies Edmundo Sosa pitch hitter coming on Bryson stop one out the base is empty for that one not close one and oh lighter a six foot righty he features a splitter a sinker, a cutter, a curve, and he works in a four-seamer. Next offering in there for a strike. One, One and two. This guy's got such a good sinker. As a hitter, you've got to look up in the zone. If you look down, you're going to be chasing stuff in the dirt. The line of the pitch. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. And there's two away. That's about as nasty of a splitter as you'll come across, especially in terms of movement. I mean, that thing tumbles out of his hand and just drops off the table at the last moment. If he keeps it down, it's just so tough to put wood on. Fires over to Crone. Three up, three down, inning over. Down quickly, go the Phillies. And it remains an eight to one game. So remaining in the game defensively, Bryson Stock. He entered the game to pinch hit, and now man second base. New pitcher on here, Jeff Hoffman. And we all know about his slider. It's just filthy, man. And one of the better ones in the game, I'd say. Spin rate's very high, and it just breaks a ton. Stevenson, the leadoff batter, as he looks at ball one. Swing and a miss. One and one. And another ball. Last couple of pitches, breaking balls away. I think he's going to have to come firm inside to be able to open up that location if he wants to go back there later in this count. And a foul ball. The pitch. Clobber to right field, way back. A shot to the opposite field. It's 8-2. He ran the count full and saved his best swing for last. That was a battle, and he won. A slider right down the middle of the plate. It's like slow motion for a hitter. You're just licking your chops, waiting for it to arrive, and you want to hit it a long way, and he did. Back to the top of the lineup, Nico Horner, the next Cub to hit. Just missed. Swing and a miss. That's strike one. 
late with the swing there. Cold night like tonight, last thing you want to do as a hitter is get jammed or even off the end. Trying to find that sweet spot on the bat. Tell you what, you're going to be trying to catch things out front, so off-speed pitches may be a good complement to that fastball. On the ground, Harper. The flip to the pitcher covering. Play is made, two out. Two outs, base is empty. Here comes Cody Bellinger. Hit hard on the ground to short. Throw, and he can't dig it out. Safe on the play. Almost a great play there. The effort was there with the jump throw. You got to love it, but it just wasn't in time. Still a really impressive play just to get to that ball and make it close at first. And not every shortstop can even make that play. Got it started a little too early. Strike one. On the ground to third. Boom. They get the force. And that is that. One scores in the inning coming on this solo home run. And this is now an 8-2 ball game. Back now, new pitcher on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth, Carl Edwards Jr. And with the big deficit on the scoreboard, he almost has to just put that out of his mind. Every outing matters for relievers and their numbers, but I think it's tough to get up for this type of appearance the same way you would for one in a close game. Austin Hayes getting ready to hit one for three. So they're he making a move for a bat off the bench. Number Brandon Marsh. Why the kick the pitch? Mark. Swings and misses. Oh, one, one. Check swing. Did he go? Yes, he did. No ball. He's straight. And the right hander deals. Foul ball still 0 and 2. Left hand batter waits. Foul ball. It stays nothing in two. And the righty deals. Swings and misses at the breaking ball in the dirt. Gets to it on to first. Got him. One away on the strikeout. So the Philly I'm batting order Philly turns Philly. over. And now the, the DH, Kyle Schwarber. Kyle. Schwarber. Swings through that one out Double. front that one time. Strike. Just off the inside edge. One down, base is empty. Swing and a miss as he was late that time. It might be time to choke up a little bit, get that front foot down early, maybe even just spread out. He's really late right now. And a foul ball, he stays alive. A little early on that fastball, I'm sure the pitcher taking a note. Look for an off-speed pitch on this next one. Kicks and fires. That one ran inside, almost got him. The Phillies up big in this one. Here, at the bottom half of the eighth inning. Outside, and that is ball four. His ability to draw walks has been something that's been part of his career since day one. Trey Turner now. And he swings over the top there. Oh, one down. Foul ball. And a pitch. Fights that one away, and the count remains 0 and 2. 